Let's continue. Obito had declared the fourth great ninja war, and it was about to reach its climax. With the allied shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito, the fight turned extremely chaotic. It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, Sasuke? It's only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates! The fact of the matter is, your war has ended. No, it hasn't! Sasuke and I are still here! Seems to me, these two could be Obito, even infused with the Ten Tails, right? The power of Ten Tails is equal to the Sage of the Six Paths. And with ordinary strength, it would be difficult to cause even a hint of damage. If anyone could do it, Back then, it would only be Naruto and Sasuke. Plus, we've got these two rivals who are actually friends teaming up to fight. This is getting really intense. Up to this point, due to a barrage of attacks from Ten Tails, as well as Obito and Mario, many members of the Allied Shinobi forces lost their lives. Let's move on to the next one. With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. You cannot defeat me. I am the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid. We are gonna defeat <laughs> you. Mother. Your head looks different again. What happened this time? He encountered the sage of the six paths in the spiritual realm, between life and death. And together with Sasuke, they fought. Life and death? Both of them were mortally wounded by Mara. Huh? So they both died? They didn't die. But we're on the precipice. Come on, you have gotta be kidding. Is this for real? I mean, how did he get that far with them? How freaking strong is this Madara Uchiha? But, I don't know. I guess Madara was obsessed with creating that infinite Tsukuyomi. Otto was trying to destroy the ninja world, but he wasn't always this way. Well, the time has come to leave this fight. Hmm. 
After a back and forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra, and unify it once more. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much power. She was known as the Rabbit Goddess, the Demon, and many other things. Her name Team is... Seven is on the move! Sasuke, Sakura, let go! Lady Katsuyu! Go, Aura! Tamakichi! Naruto, Sakura, let's end this! Ah! Oh, Tsutsuki? That name again? But hold on a second. What happened to Madara? Madara had a companion in a sense, who he trusted with his life. He thought that he was working with him to carry out the influence of the young man. But once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, Zetsu betrayed him. What? Zetsu wasn't a true friend. He was actually working to resurrect Kaguya. So we're moving on? Hell beat bomb! It was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough already! Just let me cut you down! <laughs> you can't cut your connection to me! Oh, it's this connection that... Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection to you is the most irritating one of all! The fighting Obito, Madara, and Kaguya? Dad ends up clashing with Sasuke? It's fate. That's all I can call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal. Fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up on him. The evidence Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon apply to the entire world. By giving and receiving support, building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his ninja way. Let's... Finish this. This battle. All of our battles! It's time. Are you ready? Sure.
They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. brighter than before the time has come let's get back to the time reservoir right you've done well <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot chasing your father's memories through time I thought I knew everything about my dad already but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like... My dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key... to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared. But it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now. But I want this child to walk within the light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now. Let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. 
run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories, resurrect here and now.